In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Tyrese Maxey and why he is such an amazing player and how you can actually score a ton of points like him. He just recently scored 19 points and, of course, how he's able to get his points is special. So let's get down. Let's check out Tyrese Maxey. If you're looking to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. Okay, so first off, there's an entry pass into the high post. This was a cr great curl cut or curl screen, a uh, curl after a screen. And Tyrese Maxey turns around. This is something that a lot of players will do. This is something that Tyrese Maxey does. However, if I was this player, I would be definitely cutting because, of course, any time or at least moving off ball because any time a player is not looking at me, I need to move. However, Tyrese Maxey is turning around because he's going to steal that ball from Jason Tatum. Anytime that you're facing up to the rim, you have to understand or know how many offensive players are in front of you and how many are behind you. And if, there, if you feel like there is one behind you, you should not be putting that ball down first. You should be looking to pivot, turn your head first, always turn your head first on a spin, and that way he would have never had that ball stolen if he actually turned his head first instead of taking that dribble. Now, Tyrese Maxey is smart. He's able to read that. He was able to probably see past game footage and see what Jason Tatum does. And he was able to get that pick. See, at the pro level, they watch a lot of game film and they find your weaknesses. And they will exploit those weaknesses. That is exactly what Tyrese Maxey does here, and he's able to go down all the way to the other end, and he's able to finish with that layup. There's two things I really want to show right here, and that is how many dribbles. That's one, two, and then he's able to get all the way down court, three quarters of the way down the court with only two dribbles. Absolutely amazing. Watch how he keeps that ball up high. This is important. So many younger players will be faced with two defenders and say, oh my gosh, I need to stop and pass this ball out. However, that's not what he does here. He takes two steps, but he slows down on those two steps so that he's able to get behind that initial defender because there's a gap between these two players. He keeps the ball up high so it's hard to strip, and he's able to get that layup. He also really knows how to use a screen. His man on this screen is going over top of it, which means that you need to cut in quick. Usually this will mean that you will want to drive. However, this man, the hedge man, is not really doing too much. Tyrese Maxey is an actually pretty good three-point shooter. He should be up much higher, or at least shadowing a bit higher here. Tyrese Maxey is able to read this. He's got tons of room right here. This guy's behind him, so all he can do is foul him. So you need to pull up for a shot in this case, and he's able to hit that three-point shot. When you're coming off of a screen, you have to be able to read what's happening. You have to be able to read what's happening with these two players, and of course, your initial defender here. Because what can happen is, if this guy comes up too high, and your teammate cuts baseline, well, you can take one more dribble in, draw both of these guys up, and pass it down for that baseline cutter. Or... If both of these guys are sagging off and your guy goes over top, you can pull for a three. It's always great to understand and read how defenses are playing you so that you can get these shots. Obviously, moving off ball is very important. And here he's going from a ridiculously deep shot. This would have been an okay kick out pass if they wanted to pull up for a play. However, instead of pulling up for a play, they're pretty much halfway through the shot clock as it is. You need to pull up for a shot. And that's what he does here. He's able to get into an open spot and he's able to pull up for a three and he's able to make it. Being able to understand how to use dribble handoffs is also very important. So here, he uses that dribble handoff, but his defender is able to fight through. Well now, the dribble handoff, his man is pivoted so that now he can set a screen using his back to this man. And now you can cut. Not just giving up on the play and standing there like many young players, still continue to move. Read where your defender is, now he can pivot back around and set that screen. It's called a re-screen on a DHO. And this is actually very useful. Now, he, in my opinion, forced this shot. Personally, being faced with two defenders for an off-balance shot is not the greatest of shots when you've got an open three-point shooter right here. However, he was able to make this shot, and it did go in. So this is something that I would have personally preferred was the kick out to the three. A three point shot with wide open is a higher percentage generally speaking than a mid range that's covered by two players. However, he was still able to make the shot like I was saying. Now here he's driving on Jason Tatum and watch what he does. Watch him angling his body into 
Jason Tatum. This is extremely important, being able to angle your body into the defender so that you can create contact, which removes his ability to try and contest or block your shot, and then you're able to go up with basically an uncontested floater. This is a fantastic move that you can do as well. I hope that these plays, these highlights, help you become a better basketball player. I hope that this player breakdown of Tyrese Maxey helps you be able to be a better defender, but also be able to score easier as well. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to go check out my basketball shooting workout that is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.